What's going on everyone, it's Shrewsbury here, and today I have a special tutorial on how to make your very own projectile in the Overwatch Workshop Editor. So here's my custom projectile, I just use a, an effect sphere, uh, colored red and pretty small, moving at a consistent pace. I'll go through the code, but let me show you what it does on hit. So this is our Roadhog here, he's kind of low health, and if we were to hit our shot, um, on the Roadhog, it will deal damage over time to the Hog until he dies. So, um, it actually deals a maximum of 300 damage, but let me go ahead and show you guys the code for this. So let me jump into the Workshops Editor here as soon as I get back to Lobby. This code doesn't involve too much stuff, so, um, if you're interested in learning how to implement this, um, on your own, stay tuned. So, in, um, I have three functions here. First, I have just my init function, which disables the normal mo the normal uh, ability one so that I can replace it with my own. That's pretty straightforward. The biggest thing is probably the fireball, the actual projectile itself. So um, this is what I've done. So I replace the button saying is if a, a button is held um, ability one true, then we're going to use our own ability here. So um, the first thing we need to do is capture the point that the crosshair is looking at so we can send a projectile towards that point. So this script can be kind of confusing, but it will be the same every time you use it. So you can take a moment to maybe pause the video and copy this down somewhere and keep it. But I'll explain what this is doing. This is a raycast hit function, which will set our player variable A to a position that we're looking at and what we're doing is uh, basically drawing a line from the eye position of the player and extending it out in their facing direction um, until it hits something always use a thousand for this value it's the only one that works correctly so um, I'll give you guys a chance to copy this down I've explained it in other videos um, but for now I'll just keep moving on uh, then we need to start our um, projectile and get it set up to actually move. So we need two points for it to move in a straight line. The other point is just going to be our position. So we're going to set the player variable uh, um, B to the position of the event player. Now that we have two points, we can create our object and start sending it in that direction. So let's first create our object. This can be any sort of effect. Um, we're going to create an effect uh, for all players to see, and it's going to be a red sphere with the radius being 0.25. And it's going to start at our position, which is also tracked by um, the B, the uh, player event that we, our player variable that we just set. Now, um, the important thing about this and using the variable is that um, if we set reevaluate to position and radius, then if we were to change this value later on, it would update the position of that effect. And that's exactly what we're going to do. We're going to use this next script to chase a player variable, B, uh, to go to the destination of A, which is that point that, that we captured by pointing at. Um, and we're going to change it at a rate of 15 per second. This means that B will start at our position, and then over time, it will consistently get closer and closer to A, which is the point we looked at. Now, the last thing we have to do is check to see if our sphere gets close enough to an enemy player to start dealing damage to it. So this is our damage over time script. The, um, the condition that we're checking for is to see if our distance between B and a player on the enemy team is less than two, or whatever you set to be the hitbox size. So we will check to see if um, the distance between B and you, we're gonna go ahead and get all players, but only the ones on the opposite team of the team of the event player, also known as the enemy team. And we're gonna check to see if any of those are less than two. Then, if that is true, we are going to start a damage over time to the closest player to our player variable B, which will be the same as the one that triggered the event. And same parameters, opposite team of, team of event player, and set this to whatever you want to be. 
and then I'm going to take that player variable B and set it to be somewhere around the origin just so we don't trigger it on multiple people. And you can replace this with any ability you want. But So that's how you make a projectile in the Overwatch Workshop edit editor system. Um, let me know if this was helpful. Subscribe and make a bunch of tutorials about how to make different codes, different heroes in the Overwatch Workshop. But until next time, thanks and have a great day.